Thank you very much. Uh, but I'm Austrian, from Upper Austria, actually. Uh, but I work in Washington, D.C., uh, at the Inter-American Development Bank, and I'm a lecturer in Vienna at the Institute of Urban Design. And I was uh, invited two years ago uh, to work in Washington uh, on urbanization and uh, urban planning in Latin America uh, in an uh, um, initiative called the uh, Emerging um, and Sustainable Cities Initiative, which is a big initiative in, in Latin America. It ha it's, it's working with 50 cities uh, in, in the whole continent and uh, the South Cone, uh, Central America and the Caribbean. And my task was to to find new ways to, for urban planning and for uh, how to make plans or how to make planning work. Because in Latin America, uh, we have mo more or less the same planning tools as in Austria. So we have a zoning plan and we have maybe a master plan. Uh, but that's it. And um, there is not a real... Uh, experience in, in how to make this planning work. There is even, but there's one city which is different. Uh, maybe you heard about it, it's um, Medellin in Colombia. They have quite interesting uh, uh, projects uh, in uh, urban transformation. And so we took this idea of how to engage city uh, people in planning and uh, we tried to make a methodology how to engage them into, uh, into this network of 50 cities. And uh, we called it the Urban Design Lab. Uh, it's a participatory, dialogue-oriented uh, planning methodology. So uh, I want just to give you a quick overview of, of challenges of, of urbanization in Latin America. So I, I, there is the city of Guate, uh, Quetzaltenango in, in Guatemala. It has 350,000 inhabitants, but the city will grow in the next 25 uh, years uh, to 1.1 million people. So they will triple in 25 years. So how do you plan for a city which is uh, uh, like tr um, uh, making three times? So the, in, the, in, this, in this slide, you see the, 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 our analysis. Um, of uh, popul uh, population growth. The, the red thing is uh, uh, where the 1.1 million will live. So this is a metropolitan area already. This is not one city, these are 50 cities or 50 municipalities. So we have uh, the challenges are uh, the, 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 the public space is not accessible. We have not enough, uh, we have no centralities. We have only one centrality, which is the historical city center. We have no transportation. Uh, we have a city center which is abandoned. There is nobody living there. People are trying to, 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 to live in, uh, in gated communities. And where is the city growing? It's outside, it's in the fringe. It's just, just there where all the social problems emerge. Uh, they have the need, even in a small city, they need two hours or one and a half hours to go uh, to, 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 um, uh, to, to get to the workplace. So what we have to do is uh, we have to develop uh, sustainable projects, but how? It's not so easy. And in the city initiative, uh, we work for one year in one city. So we have the, the tricky challenge that we have to find a quick solution for, for these problems. So what we try to do is, uh, well, we could do this. Uh, we could uh, uh, invite uh, Le Corbusier, Oscar Niemeyer, and uh, make a big, big architecture icon. Yeah, uh, but there is no information, there is a static planning tool, there are just men uh, not asking the people, uh, there is uh, a zoning law which nobody is really following, and well, there is creativity because there is a single individual project, but there is not like uh, a, a creativity for the urban, uh, the urban area. So what we try to do is we try to engage the people uh, with workshops, uh, with uh, participatory diagnosis, with uh, 
uh, creating a common vision and elaboration of a strategic design uh, that the people can um, feel like heard and have uh, created ownership. So how we do that? We, we do this in a free stage participatory uh, uh, methodology. We have a preliminary phase where we have a lot of research. We try to to, to find uh, projects in Latin America, Europe, Asia, wherever. And then we go into the participatory workshops. Uh, we have, we elaborate an urban strategy. And then we go back to the community, check if this is, if this is good. And then we have, uh, uh, we start designing uh, uh, urban design proposal. So this is, we are get, gathering data, we are, we are making interviews, we make a, a stakeholder diagram, we, we have this research, uh, and then we go into the community, uh, we, we, we make a SWOT analysis, we check our strengths, weaknesses, and so on. Uh, we, we ask them, tell us where do you see your city in five years? Uh, so you, didn't, you don't even have to be a planner or, or architect to, to say what you really want uh, for your, uh, for your uh, neighborhood. Then we do a map of, uh, of, of, of perception where we ask the people, hey, uh, where do you feel lucky or what, uh, happy? Where are you happy? Or where are you sad? Or what, what kind of place you want to change? Or what kinds you don't, uh, which, which, which place you don't want to change? So this is pure analog, so there's only one print map and that's, that's it. Uh, and uh, we do the, 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 the good practice analysis with the people. And, well, this is all public, so we invite a lot of people. We have uh, up to 100 people in these in this, uh, this workshops. And uh, in this case, we, we elaborate uh, the uh, scenarios. Uh, and then we, do, we go back to the office, we do an urban strategy, we write everything down which is relevant from, from the stakeholders, and uh, we make a, um, a context to the uh, good practice projects, we try to interpret it and uh, to make a new, a new logic uh, uh, urban strategy, and then we go back to the community, and we ask them, we, maybe we build a model or something, and we ask them, hey, is this something what you like or you don't like or what, what, what would you would like to change. We, we do role plays. We, 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 everybody has the head of another actor in the city like uh, the mayor or the street vendor and they discuss on the table what is, what is really relevant for this or it's not relevant. And then we do a public uh, presentation uh, and uh, we hand over a project to the city, uh, which they can do or not do, but we have already some ownership with the community, and this is something what the community really likes because we are doing what they want. So this is where we work, actually. This is uh, 20, uh, 16 cities in Latin America and Caribbean and Central America. Uh, we are just starting uh, a new series of, of projects in Chile and Argentina. So if you're a student, uh, a student or if you're a professor at the university and you have somebody who, who would like to join us and maybe the professors too, then uh, we can collaborate and uh, we can send these people, the students, to, to, this, uh, to Chile and uh, Argentina to, to, to test a little bit and to uh, try out new things because what we want to do is this is an experiment. This is an experiment. This is an experimental approach. So we are researching by doing it, and then we do interviews and we, we check if this methodology is really working out. So we try that the planner gets is is the moderator and and engages the community, and then we have this ownership. So uh, one quick. Uh, Case study, Panama City. Panama City is a global city. Uh, when I heard about Panama, I wanted to do this project because this is like a very important place. Uh, it's like Singapore, uh, but there is no planning at all. There is no urban planning, and they just opened the urban planning office last year. So there's not, nobody taking care about urbanization, and you see it. It's just skyscrapers, but you see in the front, you see some buildings, and this is where we worked. This is a neighborhood, uh, 100 hectares. 
uh, 20,000 people. It's very nice there, actually. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not dense, but it's, it has some bars. It's good. Uh, it's, it, it's emerged from an international exhibition uh, 100 years ago. So we, invite, we made some posters, some flyers, and we invited all the community. And it was interesting, because the urban planning director, the first time, the new urban planning director, he sat down with the street vendor, the, uh, the guy uh, who is uh, selling coffee. He's from Venezuela. The, the lady is uh, from, uh, the, uh, from a co-working space. And the other two ladies are from uh, a social housing, which is standing there for 30 years in, the, in, the, in this area. And they are discussing what, are, what is really relevant for our community. Yeah, and then we made a, like a big, big thing. We made a, 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 this uh, um, um, workshops uh, with, with the community and that the project was, is called the plan, is the urban renewal plan for this, for this area. And it's divided into three sub-projects. Sub the sub-project we already knew from the beginning after the first uh, uh, week of workshops because this was already checked with the people, so this is what they really wanted. And then we elaborated this, this, um, this project into, into an urban strategy, which is uh, like you see these new corridors for, with green area. So now you don't have any green area here. So you have a very hot city. It's uh, around 35 degrees. Uh, you can barely walk on the street. So what we, what, we, what we try to do is to implement something like an ecological uh, urbanism that people can walk on the street again. We made three, four new uh, squares uh, we, where we have in 200 meters can reach uh, a, a public space uh, under a tree. So we have, you have shade, you have, you have a good urban ur environment. So we do a master plan, so we are not against master plans, but sometimes you have to draw something that you just, you just transmit an idea. Uh, how this ec ecological system works, how many green space you need, uh, how um, that you need uh, green roofs to improve uh, uh, the, the the ecosystem and so on. And then we made some rules for the for this because in Panama City you don't have any rule. There is no rule for urban planning, so there is no there's no master plan rule. So you you we said okay you can build. 15, 21, or 25 meters high, or you can even build a skyscraper, but only where we say you can do it, and this is indicated here. And but the, the skyscraper has to have uh, a, a public particip participation in the development of the project. It has to have an architectural competition. It has to have uh, if if you build higher than 25 meters, you have to pay, pay a tax. For, uh, for this gained uh, value, for this added value of, this, of the additional height, uh, you have to have a, a floor area, a, f a ground floor area, which is accessible by the public, and you have to have to minimum one area in this tower wh where the public can always enter. So they have a community room or something. And with this system, this is very strict, so nobody ever did this in Panama, uh, we learned from Vienna because they have a, a strategy for towers and for uh, skyscrapers, and we we, we interpreted uh, this uh, for Panama, and uh, to 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 make this happen. And if you want to do this, uh, this is not existing. This is a new place, a new square. But the mayor says this area is worth six million dollars. So if you have six million dollars, I w I w I want to have it because I need money for. You know, doing projects, because this is the only land I own. This is a public land. And I said, okay, you can do this. Uh, you, you can't do this, because uh, maybe if you do the skyscraper, and if you allow eight, uh, uh, building eight skyscrapers in the first row of this, uh, of this area, you, can, you gain so much money that this is six, six million worth. So it's like, uh, it's like you have to convince these people that they don't sell out their own country. Yeah? And then we have some, some, some studies about building heights, and we are just discussing this with the community again. 
and then we, we, we fix it, okay, we can do six, six, six skyscrapers, not more, and that's the, that's the, the end of the story. And we have, uh, we go down now to uh, elaborate uh, pilot projects uh, with our students, um, and uh, something where, where the, the community can already, or the, 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 the municipality can already start doing a, a, a project. And then we go back, make a, a final presentation, we build a large scale model like this, we can see here, and um, yeah, everybody's like already confident because there is, I mean, there's nothing new, it's just the project they already they, they saw um, weeks ago. So this has not, not much technology, um, and it's maybe not really fitting uh, into the us, but it is, because we think that um, if you have, uh, if you want to do a, a human skill urbanism, if you want to engage the community, we try to, to, to do this also with a digital uh, enhancement uh, of all the planning steps where we can use uh, uh, digital uh, devices. So we want to, we are, we are, we are uh, doing a, a strategy. We started um, uh, like one month ago and we have already a, a prototype in our exhibition. Uh, I invite you to see our exhibition at the Habitat 21 over there. And you already see this map of, uh, of, of perception. This is the, the, first, the first step for, for doing this. And we, we think that in cities like in Chile or in Argentina where people have access to technology and can do things uh, with the mobile devices, uh, we try to, to, to make this like a, a big data cloud to, to make a, 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 like an online participatory uh, planning process but we still need the people to have a real discussion because we think it's a beautiful thing when the mayor and the street vendor and the very rich and the very poor are sitting together and think about this, the future of the city. I think this is also quite innovative. innovative. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roland.